Today is March 3rd, which might seem like an ordinary day to some, but it's worth noting that this day holds significant importance that might surprise many of you. On March 3rd in 1845, Florida is admitted into the United States as the 27th state on this date, after centuries of Spanish rule, 20 years of British control, and almost 25 years as a U.S. Territory Florida was finally voted in as a state. President John Tyler signed the admission bill. Floridians had voted in a referendum in favor of statehood in 1838, and a state constitution was approved in 1839, but it was not until the U.S. Congress approved the act in 1845, admitting both Florida and Iowa that it became official. After admission, the state legislative council began in haste to organize its first state election, which occurred in May of 1845, to elect a governor, a member of the U.S. Congress, 17 state senators and 41 state representatives. The total population of Florida in 1845 was approximately 66,000. Today, 100 years ago, the first issue of Time magazine, a weekly summary of news founded by Britain, Haddon and Henry R. Luce, was on newsstand. In that, the cover dates of weekly magazines are at least a week ahead. To avoid the appearance of being out of date, the March 3, 1923 issue was actually put on newsstands on February 24. Joseph G. Cannon, the former Speaker of the U.S. House of Representatives and who was retiring from Congress after 50 years, was featured on the first cover. On March 3, in 1910, John D. Rockefeller Jr. announces his retirement from managing his businesses so that he can devote all his time to philanthropy at Rockefeller Foundation. In 1931, the Star-Spangled Banner officially becomes us national anthem by congressional resolution. Lyrics by Francis Scott Key in 1814, set to John Stafford Smith's 18th century tune, the Anacreontic Song. The first episode of the sitcom Moonlighting aired on American television. The series was a breakthrough for Bruce Willis, who played a wisecracking private investigator. Subscribe to the X Years Ago YouTube channel. Thank you.